Welcome to part 2 of this board game app. I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this part 2 we will finish all this, these functionalities. So if you haven't seen part 1, please go and see it. The link of part 1 is in the description. So now we have finished till the drawing. They will draw a line and it will come. Now we need to do like we need a variable here. So the variable name is going to be board type. So default board type is going to be blackboard. I just put black. And now when they change it, so they will change it in this spinner, which is called spinner 1. So when spinner 1 dot after selected, which means that after they have selected, we need an if condition. So if spinner 1 dot selection is equal to, so here we have the equal to. If it is equal to whiteboard, or let's first do the blackboard. If it is equal to blackboard, then we are going to change this variable to be black. Let's put black here. Else, it should be white. Now, I'm just going to change the order in the spinner. So, first, the blackboard is going to come. And then the whiteboard. Yes. Now what we are going to do is that we don't we will change the variable and we also need to change the image of this canvas. So if you see here you can see set canvas one dot background image. So the image is going to be the image which we uploaded in part one, which is the black and the white image black dot jpg so now if i go to text let me type here black dot jpg and then here i'm going to put white dot jpg next we need an if condition here so if they have selected draw in this spinner, here you can see draw and text. So only if they have selected draw, it needs to draw this line. So if we are going to put, so if you go here, you have equal to, if spinner two dot selection is equal to draw, Then only it needs to draw this line. So this one we did in the previous tutorial. So now what the change we need to do is that when it is dragged, we also need to, here you can see canvas. We need to change the font size. I'm sorry, it's going to be the width, line width. So the line width is going to be the text which they have entered in this text box. So this is text box one. So set canvas one dot line width to text box one dot text. Yes, so now this is finished. 
Now we also need to do something for the canvas. We need to change the color. So here we can see paint color. So set paint, canvas one dot paint color to. Here is the board. We we can set it here. So we are not going to set it here. We will set it after selecting spinner one. So if they have selected white board, then the paint color should be. It should not be black if they have selected black hole. Black board. So now we are going to put white. So here we can see black, white, and then here let's put black. So now we are going to do the clear button, which is here, which is button one. So when the clear button is pressed, when button one dot click. You just need to put one block here. Canvas one dot clear. It will clear the whole whole board. Now we finish the drawing mode. Now for the text mode, if they select text option here, then we need to put a text which they have entered in this box and then the font size. So at the first, this will not be visible. So let's make it not visible, and this one should also not be visible. So here you can see spinner one. It should be when spinner two dot after selecting. So in spinner two, they can select if it is draw or text. So after they select it, we need an if condition to check if it is text. If it is equal to text, then we will make this text box two and three to be visible. So here we have set text box two dot visible. Let's put true. And then even for three, it's going to be true. Else, in else, it means that they have not selected this text, and they have selected draw, draw mode. So in the draw mode, we we should not make this visible. Now we are going to bring another function from here. So it's going to be Touched when canvas one dot touched. So if they touch there, we need to check if the spinner selection is text. So let's copy and paste this. We are going to remove all these and even the else. Now, if it is text, then we will set. So here you can see in canvas you have set font size. The font size should be the size which they have typed in text box three. Sorry, it's text box two. So in text box two, the user can type the font size. So I will set the canvas font size. To be text box two dot text, and and then I'm going to be to add text here. If you go to canvas, you can see text. Draw text. So let me drag in and put it here. The text is going to be text box two. I'm sorry, it's text box three dot text, which they will type. The X is going to be this X, and then the Y is going to be this one. Now let's test our app and see if it is working. We can see our app. So currently it's in the blackboard. So let me change it to whiteboard, and you can see that it is changed. Now I'm going to draw. 
so you can see that it comes in black color and in the whiteboard I'm sorry in the blackboard if I draw it comes in white color so that it will be visible so you can also put different colors in which the user can change it now you can change the line width I'm going to put 20 you can see that it looks big and then you can clear it now I'm going to change the mode to be text you can see that these both text boxes are visible so now let me type a text it's going to be subscribe and the font size is going to be 30 and if I click anywhere so I'm going to click in the middle you can see that the text came so you can click how much ever times you want and then the text will come and again if you want to draw you can change the mode to draw and then start drawing so our app is working so thanks for watching this tutorial please subscribe to our channel